When forecasting winter weather, a lot goes into play, especially temperature and several different layers of the atmosphere. When I go out to school talks, I like to describe it like several pancake stacks on top of each other, and each pancake has a different temperature, a different dew point, different wind speed, etc. And when you're forecasting for winter weather, each pancake really needs to be at a certain temperature for a certain type of precipitation. So let's start with snow. All precipitation, no matter if it's rain in the summertime, starts frozen in the upper levels. Now, when snow happens, every single layer from the cloud down to the surface is below 32 degrees. So there's no warm air in there. It stays frozen the entire time. Now, that changes a little bit when we're talking about sleet. If you look here, you can see sleet and this little wedge of warm air in, higher up in the atmosphere. So what it does is it melts that ice crystal to rain. So there's a little bit of rain in there, but there's enough cold air between that warm air layer and the surface to refreeze that precipitation, and then it ends up being a sleet pellet once it reaches the surface. Now, if we look at freezing rain, freezing rain and sleet are fairly similar. That warm edge of air that's in there that melts the ice crystal to rain. The difference between sleet and freezing rain is going to be that the, the, the area below the warm layer is much more shallow. So it doesn't have enough time to refreeze before it hits the surface. Now freezing rain at the surface to us is going to look like raindrops, but when it hits a car or it hits a sidewalk or it hits a power line, it freezes on contact and that can cause major problems, especially with power lines, because as it freezes, the weight of it can sometimes snap those power lines and cause power outages. Now I'll step out so you can see rain. Rain, once that first layer of ice crystals, there's warm air from there all the way to the surface. So it melts that ice crystal to rain and it stays that way all the way to the surface. So you have to look at each layer of the atmosphere when forecasting for winter weather because any change in temperature from 32 to 34 or 34 to 38, that changes the precipitation, precipitation type from snow to freezing rain to rain. So that's why sometimes you may think you're getting a snow day and then it ends up just being sleet or freezing rain.